The couple accused of stealing the identities of two dead infants were back in court today and pled not guilty to charges of conspiracy, identity theft, and lying to get a passport. During the hearing, Gwen Morrison told a judge she preferred to be called Julie Montague, the name she's accused of stealing. Manola Morales follows up. Walter Primrose and Gwen Morrison remain in custody at the Honolulu Federal Detention Center and will do so while awaiting trial. The judge made that ruling on Thursday for Primrose and for Morrison at Tuesday's hearing. Her hearing took a strange turn when the judge asked her to state her name for the record. She replied, they're calling me Gwen Darl Morrison, and that she preferred to be identified as Julie Montague. Prosecutors called it strange, and even the judge said the circumstances were unusual, saying, I can't even really say that I have confidence in who Miss Morrison or Miss Montague really truly is. Some legal experts say it's a defense strategy for ID theft cases. It's part of the strategy that you don't acknowledge that, at least certainly in the initial proceedings of the case where you don't know if you're going to trial or pleading guilty. Why would you admit an element of the offense the government has to prove? Silvert is not involved in the case. He adds that the strategy probably won't make it more difficult for prosecutors to prove their case. Morrison's attorney asked the judge to release her client, saying Montague has been the only name she has gone with. And as far as accusations that she and her husband may be spies, Morrison's attorney Megan Cow calls them vague. She says the KGB uniform seen in old photos isn't real because the couple is wearing a T-shirt underneath the jacket. Cow says normally they would wear a collared shirt. As for Morrison's husband, he's not using the same strategy. He has acknowledged that Primrose is his name. Prosecutors say he used the name Bobby Fort when he joined the Coast Guard and then worked as a contractor for the Department of Defense. The Coast Guard sent a statement saying the U.S. Coast Guard and its investigative service are working with the FBI and Department of State. The Coast Guard cannot release details about the case in order to uphold the integrity of the investigation. Trial for the couple has been scheduled for September 26th. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.